God, can you believe that? It's six to four. And King Boo is at the plate with two on. The tie, the winning homer could be here. King Boo hit one earlier. If he hits a homer, it's over. On the deck of Daisy Cruiser, this is the opening day of the Triple SL, the Super Slugger Sim League. Now, I'm a 23-year-old Alec Rome here, uh, and I have a journalism grace. So you're probably wondering, what in the fuck am I doing on a six <laughs> fucking Monday, Tuesday night? Uh, Commentating fake baseball. Well, because it's fun, and that's exactly what this is. And I have brought together 11 of my friends to do a simulated Mario Baseball League to find out which team is truly the best and will take home the first ever Triple SL crown. That's what we're here for. And I'm joined tonight for a six-game, what do they call this, a, a sextuple header to start the season with my good friend and owner of the Diddy Monkeys, Dave Berman. Dave, how are you doing? Why, hello. Hello, world. <laughs> I know we have... Um... You know, much, much of the free world watching this stream today. All uh, of the free be... world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, this has been a, a real brainchild of yours. Uh, some would say that you have too much time on your hands. Um, I would say this is the perfect use of your time. It is what a great use way of Spare to time. Baseball spare time. being back than um, watching some fake baseball and talking about it. That's right. Spare time. In case my boss is watching, I do do this in my spare time. Let's make that really clear. Uh, yeah. Dave, like I said, six games, but let's explain to the people really quick how this league works, basically. So, if you've never seen or played Mario Baseball, uh, it's a very fun game. A lot of people really enjoyed it. There's the Superstar Baseball that was on the GameCube, but we're dealing with the Mario Super Sluggers on the Wii. Uh, and we have basically taken the 12 captainable characters who all have their own team names and, and logos and things of that nature and uh, split them up amongst me and 11 of my friends, and we drafted based on uh, the rest of the, the roster that you're all gonna get a chance to meet tonight. We had some repeats, and each person has their own me. Some people were too fucking lazy to get it done this week, so I made one for them. Not talking to anybody specific, because uh, there was more than one. Uh, and- <laughs> being called out here, but uh, that's fine. And, uh, yes, yeah, so basically we are playing a 22-game baseball season. Each uh, game is seven innings. And at the end of those 22 games, the top six seeds move on to the playoffs. The top two get a bye. Three through six play in a three-game series wild card. The semifinals, the best of five. And the World Series of the Triple SL is best of seven, baby, just like baseball should be. Uh, and so there's all of that. Like I said, they drafted – uh, all of their teams, we did a whole draft night, couple hours. Uh, then they're allowed to trade players between teams for the most part and pick up a few in free agency based on specific rules. If that comes to, uh, to application in the meantime while we're here, we'll let you know. But they've all set their lineups. They've set their batting lineup. And what's super important, besides just the different characters, how they play, can they hit a home run, can they run, uh, is the chemistry as well, and I think that's going to be an interesting part of tonight's festivities. Dave, do you feel like that you you were able to nail the concept of chemistry and looking after your draft um, for the Diddy Monkeys, at least, who we'll see later tonight? How do you feel? Yeah, you know, I uh, went in with the uh, uh, 11 pick, 11th pick of 12. Um, yeah. We did a snake draft, so didn't exactly get the captain I was looking for with Diddy Kong. Um, if he's listening, my apologies to you, my friend. Um, but you were certainly not my first choice on the board. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I was able to pivot my strategy, really go for speed, defense, chemistry among the various Kong mm -hmm. family members. Um, and, you know, really focus on, on the pillars of baseball, right. catching the ball, stealing bases, working on the fundamentals. And we've been really working on that uh, in practice as well. And now, without further ado... Let's get into game one, and Dave and I will walk through these lineups, starting with the away team of the Yoshi Eggs. Here we are. Yoshi Eggs here starting uh, pitching. Baby Daisy uh, is starting pitching for the Yoshi Eggs. Owner is Eli, and I think that that's a fair choice. We kind of expected that to be the case. Uh, then we have his me at the catcher spot. Yoshi uh, at the shortstop spot. I think that that's a fair uh, position for Yoshi to be in, considering that uh, star or that tongue 
catch that he has. The red Noki at second base. The ever well hitting uh, red Pianta at first base. Kind of a David Ortiz might be slower, so probably a good place to put uh, red Pianta. The red critter over at third base. I almost would have maybe liked red critter to be at second base to fill the gap, but you never know. Red shy guy in left field. Uh, the red paratroopa in center field and rounding it out, baby Luigi in right field. Might have some chemistry issues, but I do think, think there's a, a a wide swath of skilled players in this lineup. On the other side, for the Daisy Flowers, I think what makes this an even matchup is that the outfield chemistry for the Daisy Flowers is not the best, but at the same time, there is plenty of home run hitting on this side. Boomerang bro, Funky Kong in left field. Daisy, a great pitcher, all-around player. Uh, Blue dry bones can be sneaky good uh, in power, and uh, Wiggler as well can have some power. That's the batting order as well. Now, uh, Dave, I don't think we have anything else to do, my friend. I think it's time to get things rolling. I think the only thing to do is to play ball. Let's play ball. It's time for the first game of the season. Yoshi at Daisy. Let's get it on. It is it. Off we go. We're on. As Yoshi sends the first pitch in for a strike. Top of the first, seven-game inning, folks. Toad at grounder to second, and that's a quick out number one. Takes a ball. A nice eye there from Blue Dry Bones. He's going to bunt. Decides to bunt, and out at first, but Blooper advances to second. What are your thoughts? There is a bunting stat. What are your thoughts about that bunt, Dave? Um, You know, I... That is not a move I would have made uh, with one out with your number three hitter at the plate. You want your... Oh, top. hold on! Funky Kong! Could this be the first of the season? There's chemistry there. No, it's robbed! It's robbed for out number three. Change sides. It's a scoreless inning. Let's take another look at it. Just an incredible catch there. Oh, Red Pianta getting up there. Um, wow, wow. Just thrilling stuff to start off the league. Early Red Pianta just really uh being a star here and i don't know if i like the change up dave but this one oh daisy had to go around the table you think she'd know that on her own cruiser but they're gonna call that out it was grabbed and it's nothing to nothing after one dave any thoughts that was a wild and fast first inning yeah you know a lot of hard hit balls there um but the uh the the defense really really uh keeping this game close that and now we got one on base wiggler with the single this one up the gap, and it will not be saved. And so two on, Dave, with one out here, top of the second. Ethan happy with his team so far. Can he put them on the board here for the first run of the season? And the triple SL, this one. Oh, it's over the head. That's almost an error. How do you dive and miss that? It's going to be, oh, no, but caught. I think that, oh, just tragic base running, base running from Red Paratroopa, maybe thinking that somebody was going to catch that. But there's still runners at the corners. Two out. It's the captains. And for strike one. Two strikes. That one was on the edge. This one swung on. If it's good, no, it goes foul. And still 0-2. The pitch. This one. No, it's bad. It's past Red Paratroopa, and Brett Pianta's caught on the table. There's one run scores. Ethan's going home. Close at the plate. Who's going to win? No, it'll be Ethan. Slides in safe. It's two to nothing. Right away from Red Paratroopa. Missing the ball that hopped over. Man, toad in. Into the right corner. Close play, and it's missed. Daisy's going to get home. It's going to be three nothing. Throw not in time. Stand up double. RBI double for Toadette. This up the middle defense is maybe may a massive problem so far. I've already had a bad throw from the shortstop. Shy guy, two misplays from the red paratrooper at second. So defense is really uh, costing the OCX early. Now down in the count early. This one is a pop fly. Red count to too slow. It's going to get down. Toadette, four nothing. Four nothing. Yikes, innings really getting away from them. I mean, just bad defense, uh, slow step center fielder. Um, you have to think some changes are going to have to be made um, after this game, but still a uh, long while to go. And this one could be gone. This time, Funky Kong won't be denied. Three run homer, and already this is getting out of hand. Wow, just 
again, just a disaster of an inning for Yoshi here. Um, gotta think uh, he, he might be hitting the shower soon. Um, but yeah, definitely not. Definitely not how they want the season to start. This is this is tough. Now up to Ethan, the owner. Star pitch, blown on, it's straight to baby Luigi, and the nightmare is over. Seven runs, including a three-run shot from Funky Kong. He wouldn't be denied this time, and it's 7 nothing. Fours, Dave. Again, the defense is just pitiful so far. Uh, just really, really rough stuff here. Now finally getting one in for a strike is Red Critter. Bunky Kong, who hit the home run that blew this game wide. That is down, but Toad Ed is slow. Blooper stays back and not going to challenge the throw. I cannot believe that got down. And Red Critter is already tired. They might have to go seven pitchers for seven innings, Dave. This is really not what you want to see, especially first game of the season. Um, don't want to turn to a bullpen game, but again, another hit here. Blooper running late. There's two runners right next to each other. 10 nothing. Off the rip here, top of the third. They don't like being on two outs, and guess who's back up? The home run hitter, Funky Kong. Take strike one. Got to keep it away from the plate if you're Eli here. Edge of the plate. This one is high. Couldn't get gone. They're not going to get there. This is ridiculous. 15 nothing. Funky Kong, six RBI in the game. And was uh, uh, the one robbery by Red Pianta, was that on Funky Kong as well? It was. Well, he could have had three home runs in this game. It's an early, early uh, uh, candidate for MVP here. God, rarely strike out. It's just, and you know, the, the star hits. Oh, Red Paratroopa. This is for Daisy. They let it go over their heads. Don't even make an attempt at it. They just know that this thing is over. You can sense the morale drop from this Yoshi Eggs lineup. Baby Daisy. Ethan, who has still been there. Mitch, your team has not played yet. They are scheduled to go later this evening, my friend. Uh, scheduled to go as nice hit there. Baby Daisy and Red Noki is going to turn the corner and get home and add a consolation run for the Yoshi Eggs. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Good uh, opposite way into the gap. Um, trying to make this a little bit less embarrassing. And that I'm pretty sure, yes. Uh, did start and play the whole game. This one to Blooper for the third out. And it's over, folks. The Daisy Flowers pin the first win of the Triple SL. Final score, a murderous <laughs> win at home, 18-4. to four. And with all that being said, it's time for game number two, DK Wilds at the Bowser Jr. Rookies. Here we go. Thank you, Mitch, for letting me know. Hopefully that's a little bit better. As Till Yoshi, magic grab from Green Magic Koopa and catches the slow Donkey Kong. That is the trade-off there at the plate, and that's two down. Yellow Yoshi into the gap, and baby DK will get home 2 0 from Yellow Yoshi. And oh, that's not good. Ooh, boy. Blue Magic Koopa's upset early. Now, what you want to see? Oh, Brown boy. Critter to deep to the warning track, but it's waved and caught by the captain. Bowser Jr., who will stop the bleeding after a half inning. Donkey Kong leads 2 0. Sure, Peter. Yeah, good good start for DK. Um, I, I, I think this is going to be an absolute just brawl. We're, we're going to see a lot of I, I agree. I mean, there's uh, there's going to be a lot of hitting uh, going on here without a doubt. It's Green Hammer Bro to hit a one deep. This one could have the distance. It's gone. Opening pitch home run for Green Hammer Bro. As we just said. It's uh, it's it, it's just gonna be a wild time. Real excited for this one. With Two to twirl. one, and by the way, Dave, something you notice, folks, the wall's much higher, much higher in this stadium compared to the Daisy Cruiser that we were just on. Bowser Jr. over the head of Yellow Yoshi, and they'll get on with nobody out. Basically, single and score and tie the game, or two outs. It'll be the end of the inning. Here is the owner. Oh, I picked the wrong, uh, did I pick the wrong owner here? I don't know why Eli is in here. Eli is hitting for Kaden! 
Oops! It's not him. That's right. That's okay, though, because the Miis have no stat differences. So just imagine it's you. Imagine it's you. I, I, the, I don't know why I hit the wrong one, personally. Some, er, some early scandals in the SSL. Early scandals. Oh, no. Oh, no. They have no stat differences between each other, luckily. Yellow Toad into the gap. They may not oh, have stat differences, Alec, but they do have five differences. Oh, does the chem stay? That's a good question. That's a good question. Well, I hope that it do I hope that it doesn't cause an issue. Hey, I tried to get it done quickly, folks. It happens. It happens. It's all right. You're it's in the right. lead right now. You're in the lead. You're up three two as that one get it gets into center field, sliding Boy. in to save. The, this broadcast has devolved into this active beefing going on. So hello, so. I, I'm in the middle of a broadcast right now. One of this is from the ownership. This is great content, everyone. Ooh, MLB. I might. Green Magic Koopa gonna hit this one over and into the gap. So two outs, two on here. Green Toe, the lead runner. As who will be up to play Goomba, the best bunter in the league, but can't bunt here with two away, but can't hit it in the gap unless Yellow Magic Koopa just does his magic. It's not even fair. Chewy. Oh, it's Chewy. Yeah. I can't even. That's not fair. How's that even fair? I just can grab it. You got to place the ball in the right spot. Scoreless inning for the Bowser Jr. rookies. And we got a tight one here through three. It's three to two for the home team. Hopefully, folks, let me know if the uh, audio is a little bit better and you can hear me a little more now. Uh, that stupid. It's the item uh, sound, really. That's super loud. Blue Magic Koopa into the gap. Donkey Kong. A little bit of fire on his behind, but we'll still get it in to second. And we see that Boo is a little bit tired as well. Bottom of the fourth. Nobody out here for the home run hitter. Green Hammer, bro. Take strike one. This one curving in. It could be two. It could be a second one. It will be. Two run homer. Second home run of the game for Green Hammer, bro. Big boppers out here, um, really just uh, showing out, showing what they're made of in day one. Um, two guys already vying for for uh, MVP here. And Boo, that will, of course, end his campaign today. Don't blame Donkey Kong and Peter for pulling him. And now Donkey Kong with the barrel pitch here in for a strike. Did Donkey Kong and then decided to go contact and gets the single. That's just awareness from the captain. Here's Absolutely. Teal Yoshi taking that one for a strike. The off-speed really high there. Ooh, goes fastball, grounded to Green Magic Koopa, but not going to get the play at second somehow with the slowest runner. Don't make a, That didn't make a lot of sense to me, but no. it's an out nonetheless. Could, could be big here. Could, could be big. Yeah, and second and third. There's not really a double play opportunity here. It's in the gap! Oof. But why did Baby DK not go home? Are you kidding me? What is happening? What is going on? <laughs> I, I honestly, Dave, I don't know. I don't know. God, just decisions being made out here are just real rough. It is questionable. And this one's a deep drive. Will it get to the wall? Green Hammer Bros there. It's off the wall. Baby DK's going to get home. And it's three to five. Dave, I got to be honest with you. Didn't that's, know. That's pretty advanced, honestly. <laughs> Pretty advanced stuff here in the Super Slugger yeah. Sim League. This one, yellow Shy Guy gets it. It's an RBI. It's a one-run game. Luckily gets the throw in his green hammer, bro, to prevent another run to tie the score. But a rally here for the DK Wilds in the top of the sixth. We knew we were in for a big one, for a good one, and it, this is not disappointed at all. Now, here's where the Great hotshot coach. rookie, Bowser Jr., is going to have to really take a look with himself. This one grounded to Green Magic Koopa. That's the third out. So only a one-run score, but will Bowser Jr. come back to the mound in the top of the seventh? That's going to be a question we'll find out in a little bit. But now, can any more insurance runs be put on the board for Caden's team? Had a rough inning last inning, but the paintballs were a really valuable thing to have. Right. Um, and, you know, I don't think they really have anyone oh, else in their Oh, power ball. Oh, but still got him. He still got him. Unbelievable play at the plate. Again, I'm sure that there's going to be some argument about that might have been safe, but it, the call is out, and there's Yellow Magic Koopa again. You can't even stop him with a power ball. Unbelievable inning. Quick one there. 
Scoreless for the Bowser Jr. rookies. The DK Wilds need a run to keep things alive. Starts the inning tired. Starts the inning tired, but we'll start with a paintball on Boo, who's shown that he can hit it, but he hits it right to Green Magic Koopa. Again, you can see the fatigue, and now they're going to pull a mid-inning. I don't know if I like this. And now Green Magic Koopa, maybe this is what you want to do. It's a one-run game, it's probably smart. Baby DK needs to get things going. It's to Bowser Jr. Will he get there in time? Yes, and they're down to their last out. Big boy up at the plate. Had two balls that looked like they could go yard. It's not going to go yard, but they needed to get him on. The lead, the tying run is at first for Donkey Kong. Could take the lead if, Yel if Teal Yoshi can do anything about it. We don't know that Teal Yoshi has a lot of power, but you just need contact. But it's caught by Green Koopa. That's the ball game. The Bowser Very Jr. rookies save this at home. Dave, what a game. Very close game. Um, you know, there I was a little concerned about the pitching management there, uh, moving Magic Koopa off of short, but uh, Bowser Jr. made a great play, uh, maintained the lead, um, and bring his team to 1-0. and Should be an interesting one as well. I mean, I think both of these, these squads have uh, unique characteristics to them, and, you know, I, I really can't call this one either. I think I could see a case for either team winning, but the only way we can find out is by getting it going here, folks. Let's play some baseball. Third game of the evening here. The Diddy Monkeys at the Waluigi Spitballs. And this one right off the bat, first pitch. Petey Piranha, the leadoff hitter. Two down. Top of the second here. King Boo with a nice start, but Brown Critter, big threat here in the sixth spot. I think Brown Critter's on a, or King Goo's on a perfect game, but it could have been robbed here. Let's see, got a Robin caught. It's caught at the wall. Tiny Kong. There's the chemistry in the outfield we were talking about. Nice snag from Tiny Kong, and this remains scoreless. And somebody's got to tell me if we got a perfect game alert early. It's very, very early in this one, folks. But two innings down, two half innings for the Waluigi Spitballs. Nothing on the board. We'll grab that. And here comes the King. Will he be the batting king this season? We'll find out. Here's the liar ball here to start for Waluigi, but it's swung on, and if it gets down, it'll be fair. Nope. That's a line drive to center field and through to three. There's no runs on the board. A different type of baseball here, folks, but it's still going to be fun. Petey Piranha, though, due up, and the top of the fourth could change that for Waluigi. First pitch on King Boo. This one's fouled again, and Petey shows that he has the power, shows that he has the capability to make something happen, but to no avail there. Star pitch here from King Boo, but this one swung on and deep. It's too fast. No doubter. Home run for Petey. The first crack in the game, the first chink in the armor, off the hat of Wario here at Wario City. And the home team is up one nothing. So far, the home teams have been doing well. Face, you saw that it was thrown off the bad chemistry, threw it off the plate, but steps on the bag. Nice recovery from Green Noki. That's a double play. 6-3, and here's Green Hammer Bro to maybe try to change something. It's swung on, and it's deep, but there's chemistry. Will they get there? No, they won't. Home run, tie game, 1-1. One one. Off attempt, we haven't seen that very much, but... Not going to happen. Pickoff's pretty rare in this game. As well as balls. Two balls, a 2-0 count here. Hitters count for Blue Yoshi, but hitting it right to the big head. A P. Piranha will end the inning, but it's tied at one through four. Will we see extra innings? It's possible. We got three more to go here in regulation. What a time, baby. What a time. King Boo. It's on the ground. Double play getting turned. That's a huge play. 6-4-3 with two away. Somebody on third, though. That's Brown Critter. King Boo putting in a nice affair here in the start. You knew he would. Could be a complete game for him. Green Noki. Good contact. If it gets down. No, it's caught. It's caught by Tiny Kong to save the run. Unbelievable. That was almost there, but what a grab. And that prevents... The tag up or prevents Brown Critter from getting home. And it is still tied at one. For King Boo now. 
Pitcher has been doing well. Two out, gonna need something to happen. It is swung on! Could be deep! Will Yellow Yo Red Yoshi get there? They won't! It's fair! Home run! Home run for King Boo! And it's three to one! The monkeys take the lead! Off of this absolute moonshot that stays fair. You saw it in the replay. Three to one. <laughs> Dave says, Shohei Butani. Wouldn't argue, but here's Petey Piranha. What a matchup this is, folks. Swung on again. It's going foul. It is foul. This is a matchup right here. Great pitching, great hitting. Swing and a miss on that ball. It's 0-2. Star pitch. But it's hit. Will it be caught and robbed again? It no, it won't. I thought it would. Second home run of the game for Petey. He's just too good. That's why he's the number one pick. The faith in Petey Piranha was not misguided, but there's still one run left to get to tie the game. You're going to need to find it from somewhere, and King Boo's frustrated. Only runs in the game have come from Petey Piranha, and now Diddy Kong will come in to try and save the game for his team. Star pitch here on the first pitch to Tim. Curveball swung on. It will get down. Nice hit from Tim. Unbelievable hit on the curveball. The banana ball. Here's Red Yoshi. Nobody out, folks, in the top of the six. Grounded. Going to be a double play if it gets through. Yes, caught. 6-4-3, two away. Top of the six, it's seven inning game, folks. Diddy Kong to Purple Toad, first pitch. That's a ball that was close, but it's 1-0. and oh. Here's the banana ball. Swung on. Right to Dave at short, and it's still a one-run game. A huge defensive effort there from the Diddy Monkeys, but only one run away are the Waluigi Spitballs. They need to make it scoreless here in the bottom of the six to have a chance. Here's Green Hammer, bro, though. It's going to be easier said than done. Contacted. It's a line drive over the head of PD Piranha and one on. Strike. A swan caught by Brown Critter and picked off at first. Scoreless inning, and we head to the seventh. 2-3 to three the score, Waluigi needing a run to keep it alive. Due up is Blue Yoshi, the critter, and the captain. Exactly who you need in a time like this. Nice eye from Blue Yoshi takes a ball. Down the middle, in the air. If it's down, it's down in front of King Boo for a base hit. And there's one on the tying run. Is it first with Brown Critter up at the plate? Off speed. Ooh, takes it. Thought he would take a swing at that one, but does not. Second one. He swung on! It could be deep! They switched! Diddy Kong's in pitching! It's gone! Home run! Unbelievable! Four to three! Diddy Kong stepped in to pitch and they couldn't grab it, but I don't think they ever were gonna. Four to three! Brown Critter with the go ahead homer! And the questions come in as to why Diddy was placed in that position. But you had to have him in to pitch. Banana ball in for a strike. What a moment there. Waluigi grabbed by Yoshi. And maybe, maybe they can stop things. They're going to have to prevent any more runs coming in. They're going to need one in the bottom of the seventh. To keep things alive. Red Koopa up at the plate. One out. Here's the first pitch. Swung on. And it's over the head of Day. Tried to die for it. So one on. With one out. And now Diddy is tired. And now we got a whole host of issues. I hope that they switch him back to center field if he decides to stay in the game. Strike one on Green Noki on the right corner. And swung on and whiffed. Is Green Oki could be time for a banana ball. It is going to need a strike out here. This would be huge. Strike three. You're out. Two down. Now this is interesting. They're pulling Diddy here. In for Green Hammer, bro. Really needing to get this done. It's the top of the seventh. So if you're looking to win the game, but it's Petey Piranha. That's why you pull him. Petey Piranha's hit two home runs. Power pitch, and it could be a third. It's going to be a third because they're not going to get to it. Over their heads. Home run again. Two-run shot. Six to three. Petey Piranha with a three-run homer game. Three-home run game. Oh, Petey is going to be a problem for this league.
Six to three. Just the worst time to have Petey Piranha come up to the plate. Now here's Tim. Can he add to the misery here? Star pitch. Would have been a nice time to maybe do that earlier. Blue Yoshi grabs it, but the bleeding was there. Four run inning in the top of the seventh for the home team. Makes it six to three. Two homers, including the go-ahead from Brown Critter and the insurance from Petey Piranha, his third. <laughs> and now Tiny Kong, three outs to go. They need three runs and take strike one. Strike two. 0-2 oh down in the count here is Tiny Kong. Swung on. Oh, it's off the head of Petey Piranha. Off his head. There it goes. Unbelievable. In a clutch moment. The bad chemistry with somebody doinked it off his head. And so Tiny Kong is on with nobody out. Pick attempt, not going to work. And now Diddy Kong swings on this one. It's over the head of Brown Critter in the gap. Could it be extra bases? It will be. Tiny Kong's going to get to third. Won't be sent home, but runners on the corners with nobody out. Dixie Kong now up to bat. Plenty of chances to get at least one run here. Even if you ground and do a double play, you'll have a 6-4. Take strike one. If it's a homer, it's a tie game. Grounded to Brown Critter. Oh, it's over the head! Are you fucking kidding me? Unbelievable! It's over his head! Another error! Oh my god, can you believe that? It's 6-4. to four. And King Boo is at the plate. With two on, the tie, the winning homer could be here. King Boo hit one earlier. If he hits a homer, it's over. Swung on! Oh, there's the, the geyser! It's gone! It's gone! Walk-off home run for King Boo! The most unbelievable game you'll ever watch! Over the head of Petey Piranha caused the error, and that's a home run! Seven to six is your final score. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. The Diddy Monkeys win on the road with the home run. Oh my god. Oh my I needed that. Because we just had a an insane, insane moment a little while ago. The walk-off homer from King Boo. Just homers flying back and forth between Petey Piranha and King Boo. I expect that battle to continue. I am so excited to see that one again. But for the time being, let's play this one. Fourth game of the night of this sex double header. Berta Bowes at the Luigi Knights. And away we go. It's Luigi to start first for the Knights. They will bat first after the coin flip. And away we go. And right on the first pitch, Red Magic Koopa. Can he get there in time? He will. He will for out number one right away. The Green Paratroopa over the head of Brown Critter and in for a base hit. A Red Critter, rather, in for a base hit. Here's the Fire Hammer Bro in the third spot. Swung on, and it's deep! But will it stay fair is the question... Red Shy Guy's out that way. It's just foul. I mean, that is just foul. But trying it again. And Red Shy Guy, are they going to get there in time? Will I rob it? He will rob it. Red Shy Guy in right field. How do you like that? What a rob. Unbelievable. Here's another try. Fire Hammer Bro has got the hitting. He gave this one a run. But Red Shy Guy robs it at the wall. I wasn't sure if we were going to get there in time, to be quite frank with you. I thought that that was gone. But robbed, and it's two outs for Green Critter Birdo with her coveted kind of suction swing or suction pitch. And that's strike one. A lot of hitters have a hard time with that. Here's another one, but this one is just going to get to the warning track. And it's caught by me for the third out. Three. As it's the big man. King K rule. Swung on, and it's deep in the right center field, but will it be robbed this time? It will. Luigi robs him back, and the defense is showing out early. <clears throat> King K rule. You knew he was going to be a hitting threat, but look at that. The smart grab. Luigi doing the business in right field. Nice grab to keep it scoreless. 
Blizzard Cove, owner of the Bowser Monster, is going to be in our next game. Good to see a red critter this time. He wants to do it with two away. Had to go around the graveyard, but it's robbed again. Unbelievable, Rob. The defense is unreal for this Luigi Knight squad. And I said it in the draft that we had that this was going to be a difficult squad filled out. A Rob there. And it's no score through one. I can't believe that it's no score. You'd think it would be. But this, this te these teams are, are overall well filled. Juan could ground into a double play here. Green Paratroopa is at the plate. Paratroopa is like to crowd the plate. Here's Birdo with the first pitch and swung on and missed for strike one. You wish that Birdo would maybe save that pitch for later in the at-bat, maybe 0-2 and guarantee the strikeout. This one caught. Double play. 6-4 for out number three. Base running a little bit suspect there. And squeaking out of the inning is the Birdo Bows. No score as we head to the bottom of the third yet again. And here's the pitcher, Fire Hammer Bro, who had a home run robbed and one that went barely foul in the first inning. He's back up to bat. But down in the count early. This is where I'd like to see Birdo use that suction pitch. Does not. It's inside. And it's swung on. Over the plate. Are they going to get there in time again? Will he be robbed or will it be good? He'll be robbed. Red Shy Guy comes up with a clutch again. Unbelievable play. Hammer Bro shows the power. But man, has Red Shy Guy got the glove. <laughs> Mitch is beside himself. But that's what de defense wins championships, my friend. It's just the game. This one swung on from Green Critter. Will this one get gone? It's not going to get gone. It's going to hit the wall. No, it didn't hit the wall. It's grabbed by Red Yoshi. It looked like it was going to go deep and then died out at the end. And it's two out. And here's Mitch. This one's a blooper. This one, one will stay fair. And Mitch will be on first with two away. This could be scoreless down to the 6th or 7th inning, folks, with the way these defenses have been playing. This one right to Red Magikoop if it's over his head, and so there'll be two on again. Red Magikoop is having a little bit of an issue right now at second. Don't think, uh, personally as the owner, that I'm not upset with him being there, but a little bit upset with his performance right now at second, allowing a potential scoring opportunity here for Dark Bones. This one swung on. It's over the head of Red Magikoop again. Will Mitch go home? Don't know. And oh, he gets held up. He holds up as the throw from me was well done. Bases loaded. Should have went home. I'm sure Mitch is beside himself with himself. Green Toad. It's going to get fair. Mitch is coming home, and it's one nothing. All of those hits have been over the head of Red Magic Koopa. And Mitch gets home this time. And it's 1-0. First score of the game. Huge play. As now Green Magic Koopa will come up. Hoping to add to their lead. Bit of a pickle here for Birdo on the top of the fourth. Two out bases loaded. This one swung on. This time it's grabbed by Red Magic Koopa to prevent any more bleeding. And that is the top of the fourth. 1-0 as we head to the bottom of the fourth. What a game we've got here, folks. It's just the fourth one. Remember, folks, two more games tonight. Bowser Monsters, or Wario Muscles, rather, at the Bowser Monsters than the Nightcap Peach at Mario. Here, bottom of the fourth four. Green Critter. This one swung on and grabbed. Red Critter robbed by, or Green Critter robbed by Green Critter, rather. 0-2 here on Luigi. Again, would have liked to see Birdo use a star pitch, and instead, that's through the gap. One on with nobody out here. Top of the fifth for Green Paratroopa. Always crowding the plate. This one in the gap again. Two on. With all the expectations on these infield players, the hit so far have been great. And here's Fire Hammer, bro. In a perfect spot. Could he add to the lead? He might! Oh, but it's not deep enough. There's that graveyard stone there. The gravestone doesn't interfere. And it's caught for the second out. Or for the first out, rather. Huge save. Man, Fire Hammer Bro has been a thorn in our side so far. But luckily, nothing happened there. Green Critter, if it stays fair. No, it's going foul. So, 0-1. Birdo needing to use something here. Could be there again. No, it's foul again on Green Critter 0-2. Now, will she use a star pitch? She won't. This one contacted. Contact hit. It's in the gap again. Luigi's going to go home. Luigi's going to go home. It's a close play. Luigi gets there, it's safe. Luigi 
Runs into King K. Rule and it's 2-0. Really wasn't sure what was going to happen there. Nice uh, relay throw, but Luigi knocking down the catcher. And it's 2-0. RBI for Green Critter as it's Mitch up to the plate who had a little bit of uh, power. And now all of a sudden Berta wants to use her star pitch. Great time to use that, personally. I'm going to have to talk with her about her pitch selection a little bit. This one swung on. It's over the head of Red Magic Koopa again. I mean, what the fuck are you doing? And another miss for the Gravestone. Green Paratroop is going to get home. Green Critter, though, almost goes home. It's three to nothing. Lots of issues. Good hitting from this Luigi Knight side. But, man, all could have been prevented if someone did their job at second base. And now Birdo is even upset and will be out of the game after five here. And Red Magic Koopa will maybe be better placed at that spot. Top of the fifth. Birdo pitched four and a third allowed five. Here's Green Shy Guy. This one's deep. Could be a tag up here. It will be a tag up. Green Critter's going to go home. Is that throw hard enough? No. No throw attempt. Four nothing for the Knights. Again, six straight zeros. Could be the first shutout of the day. All at the hands of Luigi Knights, and the defense has been great. There's no doubt about that. Home runs robbed, all those sorts of things. Red Critter, though, has been playing some good defense and adds another out to his tally. Fire Hammer Bro has been a problem all day long. You haven't been able to handle him. This time, it's not going to get up. It's a line drive, but it gets down, and it will be a single. Oh, no, wait! He picked him off! Fire Hammer Bro was not quick enough. He picked him off at, the, at first base. Two down. Base running mistakes for Fire Hammer Bro. Not quick enough. Honestly hit it so hard. And now here's Green Critter. Could this one get gone? Will it get robbed a huge moment? It will be robbed by me. One, two, three. A crazy section of the inning there. You thought that could have been a two-run homer, could have been a two-run swing, but instead it remains 4 nothing and gives the Birdo Bows a chance to win the game, but they need a lot of help. They need four runs in the bottom of the seventh, and there hasn't been much hits to find, but the power section of the lineup here, Critter, Cruel Critter. Here's Green Critter to start. Needs something big. It could be big, but it's foul again. Been fouling these off tonight. I have the Critters. Need to keep it fair. Fire Hammer Bro, star pitch. Swung on this time, it's fair, but is it gonna get down? Is it over the head? No, it's caught by Green Paratroop up before the fire. Two outs away from a win. Here for Luigi at home. King K. Rule needs to get this one. Swung on, and it's caught by Green Critter. And there's one out to go. The hitting has just not been good enough for the power section lineup where they needed it. Strike one here on Red Critter, back against the wall. Star swing, it will get in the gap, and it's a two-out rally. It's what you need to have. Red Critter's going to go two. Will he get there in two? He will. Stand up double for Red Critter here in the bottom of the seventh. Needs a lot of help, starting with me here. Needs a single or better. Star swing, good time to use it, but it's grabbed by Green Magic Koopa, and that's the game. Shut out for Luigi at home. Incredible defense, to say the least. And they're going to be tough, especially in their home ballpark. Final score here from the mansion. Luigi 4, Birdo nothing. Five out of six here. Blizzard Cove, Tristan says, they're out of the weight room and ready to rumble here. Let's rumble at Bowser Castle. Here's Parker. Ready to get things done and hopefully we'll bat in somebody early here in the top of the first. One out. Swung on this one. Might get over the head of Gray. Shy Guy will. It's going to get to the wall. Yell Pianta will come home. And no throw is going to be made. Wario will hold up safe at home. And an early run for the Wario Muscles. Nice hit from Parker. Get that one to the wall. Bounces off the wall. Gray Shy Guy could not react to that one quick enough. And a nice play just in time is Yell Pianta. Now here's Yellow Magic Koopa. One away here. This one swung on. Is it deep enough? Is it fair enough? It's not. The 0-1 with two on. This one to Blue Magic Koopa grabbed a nice tag there at second for the double play. 
and the end of the inning, but one run to start things off. Not a bad start for the Wario Muscles. Computers are playing each other, so it's simulated thanks to the modding community. Uh, great modders out there. You can mod the game as such to where you can have the computers face each other, and we're just watching, baby. Nobody's playing. And Yellow Pianta, we might be watching him send this one yard. It's gone on the top of the wall. Home run for Wario. Yellow Pianta goes yard in the top of the third to add to the lead. Blue Critter was never going to get there anyway. 2 nothing for the Muscles. Out. A little bit of a rally here again with two outs. It was a struggle before for this team. And here's Parker who was able to get one of the RBIs by hitting it to the wall earlier. Takes a ball. Nice eye. Here's another swing. Could this be gone if it stays fair? No, it's just foul. Just foul. You saw the shadow there. Unreal. Takes ball two, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Ball two, though. Swings on this one. It's over the head of Bowser. Yellow Pianta is going to come home. And it's 5 nothing. Could be 6 if Wario decides to go. He won't. And now you're going to question potentially the leadership, I'm sure, Tristan will, of Bowser. Maybe selfishly putting him in the shortstop spot as Blue Magic Koopa was doing so good. He said, God damn it, I want to be the star. Um, would hate to have to deal with that temper personally. Right now, a bit of spraying going on for Blue Magic Koopa. Strike two, though. It's two and two. Down the middle, hung that one over the plate, but nice grab by Red Magic Koopa at second. Does stop things from getting any worse. One run added on, five nothing. Bases loaded. Two out. Maybe you need to change him. No, not in a pinch. Blue Magic Koopa is going to try to finish this inning with the home run hitter. This one is a fly ball, but Blue Shy Guy is not quick enough. It will get down. Blue Noki is going to go for home, but a nice throw. Oh, it's safe. They call it safe. I thought he was out. Thought she was out. Two runs get home. Pull Blue Magic Koopa for sure and put the red one in there. Man, I thought that was out, but it doesn't matter. Five, six, seven, it's still a deficit. And how about you add to it? Yellow Toad going to go home. The, oh, the shell adds to it. It's eight nothing. Two out rallies for Tristan's Bowser Monsters have not been kind today. Here's the off speed. Swung on by Parker. Could it get gone for the me? Could be the first me home run of the game. It is. The first me hits its home run, and it's Parker who does. Three run shot by P Dad, and this game is all but over. Boomerang Bro, if this one gets down, it'll be good. Is it over the head of Toad? It is over the head of Toad. The fire's there. Tristan's gonna go home. But there's the big throw. Hold on, it's the power throw. He's caught at the plate. Caught at the plate. The chemistry comes through. Let's take another look. I thought this was a run for sure, but the chemistry play between Toad and Parker catches him at the plate. Unbelievable throw. That's what chemistry can do, and this is just a disaster. Wario is going to come out of the game after that scare, but still pitched four and a third shutout innings. But Bowser, will he have something to say about it? Stay fair. It does stay fair. Three run home run. Can Red Magic Koopa make it possible? This one's high. If it stays fair, it could be good. It could be good. It's fair. They wave it fair. Home run. Solo shot for Red Magic Koopa to get the rally going. Let's watch the replay. This one curves and does stay fair. It absolutely was fair. It was in 13 to 6. Baby Mario could come in and save this one. Not really a save per se, but at least it'd be something. Takes strike one, does Gray Shy Guy here. Gray Shy Guy had a nice hit earlier. Will he have a nice hit this time? No, it's caught by Toes. We're double play. The old man ends this game and the Wario Muscles on the road make a statement against the Bowser Monsters and win this one by seven runs, 13 to six. We're going to get used to this, but folks, thank you so much for sticking around. Make sure to drop us a follow everywhere you can. And one more game in the Triple SL opening day. Peach at Mario. Let's get it on. ...is safe at second. Base is loaded for the big hitter, the only Pianta on this team. Blue Pianta. This was an early draft. Somebody they wanted to have on their team. Could be a grand slam opportunity with everybody on. Almost guaranteed to get a run here. Mario, though. Fastball swung on and whiffed for 0-2.
No star pitches though. Fastball, star swing into the corner. It's caught by Yellow Toad, but the tag up, smart base running from Peach. It's one to nothing already. Blue Critter gets this one to the warning track. Everybody's running with two out, but it's grabbed by Red Pianta. One down though. They got one score there. Base is loaded. Would like to get more, but hey, it's the lead. It's one to nothing. It's Blue Pianta on Blue Pianta Violence here to start the top of the second. The Mario Fireballs! Say goodbye! Instant answer for Blue Pianta. It's almost like they know each other. The big spot. This team has all three Piantas, all three colors. It's Red Pianta. Down the middle. This one is. If it gets down, it will get down. The Fireballs take the lead. Tried to pick off Red Pianta for being a little bit lazy there on the trot to first. But an RBI for Red Pianta makes this a 2-1 ball game. Still one out. Now here's Andrew. Andrew's showing bunt here, which I don't blame him. You can maybe get a ball and, oh, pull it back nicely. Ball there. Good eye. Here's the star pitch now in for a strike. Look again, looking to bunt, maybe to advance the runners. Now has to swing on it, one, two count. This one's a high pitch, this one is grabbed. Nice play, gets the force out at second. Blue Critter with a diving grab to save the inning and only keep it to be one run. Toad sacrificing himself for the double play needs to be on ESPN top 10. Fair. I think there's a lot of top 10 plays, and I think we might put them up. Blue Pianta could make a top 10 play of himself, but could it be robbed? They let it go. What the hell was that? Home run. I can't believe it. They let it all go over their heads. The media is going to have a field day with that. And the Monarchs take the lead. Four to two. And Mario is beside himself. How do you not take a try at robbing that? The play of the game for the Monarchs and the biggest question mark so far I've seen. And that's off of Blue Pianta. Now you add an error to it and you just got to get out of this inning. Unbelievable scenes here. Now Blue Critter. Take strike one. This could get really bad for the fireballs early and it's gonna get there will they try for it this time they will and it's out at least they chose to rob this one unbelievable why this time and not last time there's a lot of crowd out there could have been a distraction but man oh man there's gonna be some major questions for these two can't really be celebrating after you let up a three-run shot. Paragoomba now with two away. This one jammed inside. That will be the third out. And a surprising, almost unbelievable, I would say, three-run shot. Hey, Blue Pianta did it. And it's 4-2. It's official, baby. Fireballs, and here's Peach, who could potentially blow this game wide open. It's this one, it's caught by Toad. Double play, triple play, triple play to end the inning. Re redeems themselves, I would say, did the Fireballs. A triple play to end the inning and keep it a two run game. Off when attempt, safe, and nobody out here with two on. The, the go ahead run at the plate, it does get down. Will Pianta get sent home? He won't, almost a bobble from Pink Yoshi there. But now here's a jam for the starter Blue Pion to get out of. Here's the extra red me. Star pitch, strike one. Base is loaded. This one on the ground in a gap. It will be a run. It's a one-run game as the Mario Fireballs make it three to four. The red me gets a swing on this one. Gets it in the gap. And makes it a one-run game. And now Blue Pianta, it might be time to say goodbye. It was not a bad effort from him. Three runs allowed in four and a third. Or exactly four. I don't think there's an out in this inning. So three runs allowed in four, not terrible for what we've seen today. 
Peach now, exactly what the game plan is. You put Peach in, and hopefully she can get this team to a victory and get the save. This one contacted by Mario, her love interest, but caught. But there's the green shell that will get a run in thanks to the sack fly. We're tied at four. Tied at four with one away. It was grabbed by Pink Yoshi. Really don't think he was going to have a shot of getting the sack fly anyway, but certainly not after a green shell. Now we got a big chance here. Here is Blue Pianta. Blue Pianta has already had a home run today for the Fireballs. This one on the ground. It's in the gap again. They're going to take the lead. Jeff gets hit by the pow ball. It's going to be another base there for the extra red me. Runners on the corners with one away. And now this is becoming an issue. It was a two-run game. Now, then it was a one-run game. Now, it's a one-run game in the opposite direction. Blue Toad swings on this one. He's got some power. It was a no-doubter. Blue Toad home run. It looked like it was gone as soon as he hit it. Perfect hit in the center field. What a turn of events. Both of these sides have made some questionable things. That one's not as questionable, but now they're going to put Pink Yoshi in and Baby Peach is out in center field. This is a bit of a mess over the head of Peach trying to dive for it, and it's two on still. <clears throat> the owners put this team, both owners have put these teams in right positions to win, but the players on the field have been making mistakes. Just put it clear, it's not an ownership, it's not a lineup problem. The boo ball, and they can't find the ball, and it's 11 to four, it's about to be 12 to four as Blue Toad gets home. These air items for the Mario Fireballs coming in clutch thanks to their chemistry. Man, oh man. Strike one on Yellow Toad. Still have a couple innings maybe to get something done. 0-2 oh, here. Nice pitch from Pink Yoshi. Might want to go back to that. They will go back to the star pitch. And it's strike three. Nice pitch from Pink Yoshi. Two away. And Pink Yoshi, interestingly enough, has not a great pitching stat. But, hey, getting the job done and takes another strike. Not pitching too bad. Might be a little underrated, I would say. But that one is a no-doubter. Goodbye. Two-run shot. Announcer curse there. Big hits. Big plays at second. Blue Pianta to give them maybe a little last-bit uh, ditch home run here. This one is up in the air. Red Pianta is underneath it. The game is over. The Mario Fireballs defend at home and defend so very well. The final score, 15-4 to here at Mario Stadium. Well, folks, what did we learn today? Boy, we learned a lot, I think, from all these teams. Uh, first off, what a blast. We had so many great games, lots of offense, lots of home runs, a triple play. I mean, what more could you ask for? We pretty much, the only thing we didn't get was a grand slam uh, in everything. But what I think we did learn is that, uh, you know, maybe some of the teams have all the pieces that they need, but you need to put them in the right place. Maybe some of the teams have pieces, or but not enough pieces, but they have them in good places. They're doing well with what they have. And some teams have one specific piece that is going to be the key part of their team, a la King Boo or Petey Piranha. All of these teams have plenty of potential to win games for their side and get them to the playoffs, but there's a lot of adjustments that are going to be made now that we've seen one game out of every ball club all 12 have had a chance to put themselves out in the field. I think uh, as reading the chat tonight, outfield chemistry is a big, big uh, thing, as well as you can have chemistry, but if you ain't got the speed to get there and get to the wall, it's not going to matter. Lots of things to consider uh, and lots of performances to analyze, to cheer, to criticize, but hey, that's baseball, baby. What a beautiful opening day it was. I want to thank all of our owners and all the people who joined us. If you're brand new here, make sure to hit the follow button on this YouTube channel. Follow us for more league news and highlights on TikTok 
at Super Sluggers. And I just want to say again, thanks everybody for watching. It's been such a blast. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I hope you keep enjoying it because we're going to have plenty more of it. Our next game day is going to be Friday here, April 5th. Right before WrestleMania weekend, we're going to have a nice another six temple header as uh, Tabitha is at work. So I got nothing to do. It'll be the end of a work week. I'll be here drinking beer, watching baseball, baby. And I hope you will be too. Join us next time. Until then, I'm Alec Rome. For Dave, uh, the owner of the Diddy Monkeys, who is here, for everybody here, I say thank you so much for watching. Be kind to one another. And we will see you next time.